back here on Pier 5. The party is on for the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers. They are Northeast Conference regular season champions. And joining us is the young man who scored the deciding goal, the tiebreaker, with just over eight minutes left. The junior from right here in Brooklyn, Khaled Abdella. Congratulations. How does it feel to be a champion in the NEC? Thank you so much. Uh, first, I just wanted to thank a lot of my teammates. Uh, they were telling me before the game even started that this game is yours, this game is going to be mine. Uh, they were telling me this game, you're going to score, I believe in you. And I came in and it's, ama it's an amazing feeling to go in and, and score the winning goal for the team. Yeah, let's Just talk about that goal if we can. Ramsey uh, put it right on net for you. It looked like you deflected it in. Yeah, so uh, it was perfect. It was a perfect ball from Ramsey. He got the, I'm not sure who took the shot. The goalkeeper blocked it, went straight to Ramsey. Played a perfect ball on the ground, low and hard. And I just ran in, hit it in with the, uh, it just hit it. In. It actually went in with my knee, actually. But it was a perfect, it was a perfect ball for Mandy. I got to give him props for that too. Khalid, after all you guys went through to even get on the pitch back in early March, after all the delays with the pandemic and everything, how does this feel to have it pay off so well? Five straight wins after the opening loss, and here you are as NEC regular season champions. I mean, honestly, it's a great feeling. We, we went through like a lot of hardships to get to get to where we are now. We didn't have a field. We had to shovel snow. We had to uh, work. We had to work an indoor field. We've done. We've like worked through a lot of obstacles to get to where we are right now. So it's just amazing. It's honestly just amazing. Our coaches tell us all the time too that you've you've gotten through a lot of obstacles, and we we all deserve it. Honestly, I think we we went a long way. What does it mean for a Brooklyn kid to score a championship-winning goal for a Brooklyn team? I mean, honestly, it's amazing because uh, a lot of people here are international. Not a lot of people are locally. So it's just great to come on uh, and score a goal for the, for the team. And it's just amazing, honestly. It's great. Congratulations on the deciding goal. Congratulations on the championship. And good luck next week. Still one more regular season match to go before the NEC final right here in Brooklyn Bridge Park. Let's bring in your teammate, Nico Molina. Thank you. Who scored the first goal on a penalty Thank kick. You. And Nico, one of the senior leaders of this Terriers team, what does the outcome today mean to you? This is everything I was waiting for since I came here. Honestly, we've been fighting a lot, as, as Khalid said. This is what we were looking for, and we finally make it. We're in the playoffs. We're, we're ready to go. We're halfway there. You guys had so many opportunities in the first half. You really owned the run of play, but you couldn't break through. How important was it for you not only to put that PK in, but then to eventually win the game after Fairley Dickinson caught up? Well, it was incredibly. Not only uh, my goal, but I remember from last year, they were the ones that kicked us out of the playoffs. So this game for us was, uh, was a dream, it was our revenge. So we're here to celebrate, but it's not done, you know? We have still two more games against LIU and then the final, so as I said, I'm ready. Yeah, at, le ready. at least two more to go. What was the conversation after the match when you guys were all gathered in the huddle over by the bench? Exactly that. It's not done. It's, uh, it's what I was telling you. Coach is uh, being very clear that we still have one more game against LIU, and uh, after with the final, we just have to make it, you know? We have to go for it, and uh, it has to be ours. This is our year. Well, congratulations on the regular season championship. We're gonna have your coach join us in just a second. Go enjoy the rest of the celebration with your teammates. Thank Nico you Molina and Khalid. season at the helm your third regular season NEC conference championship this one though has to be even more special given all the hoops and all the tribulations to even get on the pitch only absolutely. five weeks ago absolutely it's been uh, it's been a very crazy year um, the guys have been incredible the work that they put in is amazing I mean, all credit goes to those guys. It's, it's incredible. What's going through your mind in the first half? You owned the run of play against Fairley Dickinson, but you couldn't break through. It was a scoreless game at the intermission. You come out in the second half, you get the PK from Nico. Then a few minutes later, Fairley Dickinson ties it up, but eventually you're able to pull out the win. Yeah, you know, absolutely. The first half, I thought we played well. I thought we had a, a little bit of a slow start. Uh, guys picked it up. We, uh, we started to win the midfield, and what I liked was we, we had a, we had some good opportunities, and we were starting to control the game. So 
yeah, we, we'd like to get a goal in that first half, but we were happy that we were starting to play better. And, uh, you know, right away in the second half, the guys, you know, we had we created a bunch of chances. And they just did a great job. And we finally got the PK. That was a big PK to, to get us on the board. And we knew FDU was going to be tough. Uh, you know, defending champions, they're not going to stop. They're not going to quit. They've been doing it all year. Early in the season, they're down 2 nothing, down a man. They come back, they win the game. So we knew it was, it was a going to be a tough game. Cheers were taken. The celebration was on. What did you say to your team in the huddle by the bench? Uh, you know, congratulations, but it's on to the next game. We have LIU next week. Uh, they're, they're playing incredible. I think they won their last two games 4 nothing. So it's going to be a big test for us, and we need to be ready. Situation where because you've got the regular season championship wrapped up, that match next week doesn't mean anything for you necessarily. But how do you approach it, knowing that you'll have to, you know, stay in form with the final coming up later that week here? Yeah, every game means everything to us. You know, we, we want to win every single time we're out there. We want to compete. So, you know, we might be in, but you know, we still we still want to play well next week. Congratulations on the championship. Go enjoy it Thank with the team, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Coach Tom Giovato will be.